My name is Fergal Quinn and I've had a few careers in my lifetime. I was chairman of Unpost for 10 years, the first chairman. I've been a member of the Irish Senate for almost 20 years. Now, my main career, I suppose, that I started when I was 23 was to start a grocery shop and we called it Super Quinn and it became a reasonably sized chain of 21 stores. Well, probably the, the, the one I remember most of the silly things that we did because I was, you know, when you have one shop or two shops and your competitors have got 20, 30, 40, maybe a couple of thousand if it's a big Tesco or something like that, you really want to get yourself known. And so we would do anything to try and get ourselves mentioned and have a talk, talk to them. And one of the, the first things we did, which I'm sure most people don't remember, is when we'd opened in Sutton way back in 1968. Uh, and we said, how do we get people to know? The first thing we had it opened, not by a famous personality, we had it opened by an elephant from, from Fawcett Circus. The objective is to make sure that the customers coming into your shop left the shop saying, I enjoy that experience, I'm going to come back again. The one message that has to get across in any business is that you make a long time customer, not just the one visit. I was 23 when I started. If I had a choice now, I wouldn't wait that long. I wouldn't be in the least bit shy about starting and be willing to make mistakes, even if it's earlier than that. So I think it's very important to get an education, but that doesn't mean you can't start your business at the same time as you are being educated. I have a new career now, in as much as the last three years I've been doing a television series called Fergal Quinn's Retail Therapy, and this is for RT1. What I do for RT's program is I go around different shops uh, and have a look at them and see if I can help. And that means with the television crew going down to different parts of the country, It could be to Ennis, to a lovely bakery uh, in Ennis, run by uh, a girl called Carrie. 27 years of age, um, has a daughter, um, and she opened her own shop only the year before. And she was having some difficulty, but we went down, oh, maybe over three, four months, and advised her, and she grabbed hold of everything suggested with TV cameras to see how she, how she was doing. There was another young woman in, uh, who inherited the business from her father and mother in uh, Standards in in uh, in, in Connemara. The number of young people and they were both in their in their 20s and they were running businesses and it's a joy to see them but going back week after week after week or over, over a period of three or four months and then having the grand opening and seeing how it's doing and then keeping in touch with them afterwards and um, it's a joy there are people who succeed even during tough times There are real success stories. And the answer is not coming from spending a lot of money, the answer is changing the attitude. Any body entrepreneur, it is whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. Make sure you believe you can.